Good evening guys, welcome to my jewelry night. Okay, we're trying, we tried to do this as easy as we could to make it go simple for you. So, first of all, let me tell you, I have a nice, nice piece of jewelry. All this jewelry I'm showing, I got in um, Goodwill Blue Boxes. Everything that I do, unless I tell you different with jewelry, is going to come from Goodwill Blue Box. So anyway, I'm saving the last one for the end. So you have to stay with us. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with this. This is a little cross pendant. Okay, uh, let me see my paper. We tried to... There's no markings on this at all. Those either look like ivory or mother of pearl. I cannot figure it out because that's how close it looks. All right. So we're calling this the sterling silver cross with either, either ivory or mother of pearl. And it's two inch by one and a quarter inches. And it is a pendant. There was no chain with it when I got it. It just came like this. So, hmm. Yeah, it measures about two inches by one and three quarter inches. So that's pretty cool. And then this is a charm bracelet. I, I'm going to try to put the camera down here because it will be easier for you to see the charms, I think. Let's see here. Yeah. Let's see. If I don't shut you off again this time. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Let's see. Okay. There you go. All right. This is just a simple bracelet. It's just metal that we know of. And it has two different types of chains on it. And uh, lots of little, what to me looks like vintage, um... What do you call them? Lord, I lose it every time I get on this camera. <laughs> Little charms. A sun, a butterfly, a sunflower, ladybug, a, a little, like a coral pink flower, and a butterfly heart, and just some beads. But this is so pretty. Let's see. What did I put? I didn't even put anything on this. Let's do, um, five dollars for that. Okay. Let me write it down, because Bert's trying to help me here. So, if my pen will work, we will get on to the next one. Let's see. Okay. Uh, what was the cross? Did I give a price on the cross? No, no I didn't. Let's do five on that cross, too. Because I'm not sure. Um, so five on the cross and cross pendant. And five on the charm bracelet. Okay, and the next one we got is... We have this ring that's copper. I didn't know if anybody would be interested in it or not. It is a copper ring. It's size 7 most likely. And, um, yeah. So it's up here on the top of my notes here. So, um, I don't know. Let's do $3 on that. Okay. This is a little bit special. This, I think, is silver because it's not attracted to, 
any magnet. It goes like this. And um, it has no markings on it that I can see. I don't see any markings at all. It has a little pearl on the bottom. And then a little silver clasp. I mean, um, what do you call that? <sighs> the bail to put the, uh, the chain through. But it too came without a chain. And I was so afraid we were going to lose it. Because it's like, uh, let me see how big it was. <clears throat> it's an inch and a quarter. Uh, inch and three quarters. Yeah. No, is that the right one? Let's see. Silver. Uh, yeah. An inch and three quarters. That's from the pearl to the top of the bale, I believe. And we'll do five on that. Okay, let's see. This here, this, I, this has got to be uh, one of the, the things that they clip the, sweat, the sweaters with at the neck. Because, let me see here. I'll tell you why if I look at my notes here. Um, we had a second page, baby. What happened to it? Yeah. Okay. Should be over here. But this is seven inches long. And it's mixed media of metal that's all we know because it was attracted to our magnet so it's not sterling silver or something so on this I'll do three dollars it's just a sweater tie I think babe it's not over here no I don't know what happened to it oh great it's not in my bag. okay it's not in the bag. let's see here These are bangles. um This bracelet right here is copper and silver. It's not attracted to any of our magnets. And it has no, um, no, uh, identification on it at all. It has no, um, nothing really. It just slips on and it is, let's see, it is... Three inches wide. Does that sound right? Mm -hmm. I think it's three inches. And um, it's heavy. It's very heavy. I'm going to do five on that because I'm not sure. So, you guys, when I sell you stuff, let me know, like, if you're reselling it, if, it, if it's sold, and for how much, so we can all, you know, yay! <laughs> Okay, this little bangle, I have no idea. It it did attract to our um, magnet. So, I'm just going to say $2 and leave it at that. Okay, this looks like it's probably a homemade bracelet. However, it's 8 inches long. And it's not attracted to our magnets at all. So, these are like black Savorsky crystals. That's what they look like to me. And none of this silver is attracted to a magnet. So, it may be ster sterling silver. Maybe I can't see where it's at. I hope that's what it is. And we'll take $8 for it. And this is another new necklace. This is also 8 inches. And these are just some really pretty, pretty, pretty beads. And these two things, I don't think the... Do you have your magnet, babe? I don't think the balls on these were uh, attracted either. No. No. Just want to make sure here I'm right. Okay, this is an 8-inch bracelet. Let's do $8 for it. It's got purple mixed in with silver and some two-tone glass. I think these are glass beads. I'm not positive. But it's a pretty little necklace with a wonderful clasp. 
Okay. That one. This one here is a very special necklace. <laughs> I'm going to lay it down here because I have a hard time with this necklace. Okay? Let's see. All right. This has nine strands of herringbone chain. It is not marked. I tried to look it up. And I found a lot of them. But I just couldn't figure out which one that it was. No, I didn't find any with this type of... Um of the ends on it that hold the strands together, you know. I didn't, but this is nine strands. And I, let me make sure here, I got this here. I don't know. Let's see. No, it was on the other piece of paper. But anyways, this I believe is just 14 karat gold not plated what do they call it yeah plated it's not gold but um yeah so i'm gonna ask ten dollars for it and also it has a little ball on it and i will tell you something i have found that kate spade has a little ball on a lot of her necklaces and um we'll get into that in a few minutes when i show you the last uh necklace I have because um I believe that one's a Kate Spade too but anyway this is this is ten dollars it's a beautiful necklace it really is but since I'm not sorry guys it tipped over <laughs> Let me get it straight here. Okay. All right. This here I got is just a little choker. And it's, I think it's made of rubber because it's stretchy. But it's just so cute. And see, again, here's another little ball. So, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of confused. I mean, it's not marked or anything. I didn't find any marks on here at all. It's got a nice little clasp. It's 15 inches. And, um, yeah. So, I'm not sure uh, who made it. But I'm going to do $3 on that. How's that? Okay. And then we got our, uh, <laughs> our necklace of the night. Okay. This one, I believe, is a Kate Spade candy. Uh, oh, what is that called now? Darn it. Candy Shop Necklace. Okay. It doesn't have her name on it. That I can see anyway. Anywhere. It has an extension. And it's full of rhinestones. And Kate Spade has made a lot of necklaces. Let me move this back a little. A lot of necklaces. Very, very similar to this one. So, I can guarantee that it's Kate Spade. So, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to put this online. And what I want you guys to do is tell me what you think it's worth. What would you start this off at on an auction? So, put it down in the, um, in the description. I mean, the... <laughs> The comment box because I am very eager to hear from you guys. That was our last piece for the night. We have more jewelry shows coming up. If you want one of the pieces we've shown tonight, put your, uh, I'll put my email in the description and you write to that email with your name, address, and zip code. I will send you a bill from PayPal. And you can pay with your debit card or credit card. And you do not have to belong to PayPal to do that. Just so you know. So if there's anything you see tonight. Just let me know if you want it. I'll be glad to um, box it up for you. And let's go up here a minute. 
as always, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe so you'll get all our videos. Hit that bell and you'll get all of our videos. Jewelry. Unboxing from Thread Up Macari. Uh, Macari. Look at this. Uh, Thread Up Goodwill Blue Box. Uh, hauls that we go do. We do a lot of stuff and we're going to be doing more. So, don't forget. Let me know what you will you if this necklace belonged to you, what would you start it off as off at on eBay? And I appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful evening and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.